Lois Hedge is very familiar with Edison Elementary. She retired from the St. Joseph School District after teaching 31 years. 19 of those years were at Edison. Most recently, she has been substituting there where her granddaughter, Michaela Brassfield, is a sixth grade teacher. To recognize Black History Month, Mrs. Hedge and her granddaughter decided to do an activity with Edison's third, fourth, and sixth grade students. Mrs. Hedge read one of her favorite books, Change Sings, a children's anthem by poet laureate Amanda Gorman. Gorman was the youngest poet to read a poem at a presidential inauguration. The story talks about differences and how students can work together to bring about change. Um, you can change your character, like if you want to be in whatever you want to be in life. Or you can like try to attempt to change like the environment around you. You can also change um, people's lives so you can like help them out and and if they're ever bad, like you can, you can always turn them good because there's always a good person inside you. And, and we have such a diverse group of students here, so it's it's not just African American, but you you want all all history taught. Even even the book referenced, you know, where where we all came from, and how we all got here to this country, and and so it's it's relevant to everyone. I like to acknowledge all of it um, because we all come from somewhere and the kids like that. There's no backlash from them. They enjoy learning about one another. The students also participated in a team building exercise that not only involved building the tallest tower with toothpicks and candy, but also working in groups with other students in their class they didn't know very well. Mrs. Brassfield sees it every day, how her students celebrate their differences and learn from each other. We're aware of our different skin tones and our different cultures. Um, like my grandmother said, I have um, Chukis, I have Hispanic, I have Cuban, I have white, I have black, um, I have African students. And so um, the, they, they discuss their differences in their cultures without me even um, prompting that. They already know more than a lot of adults know about the changing world and about how the environment, not only our environment is changing, but our cultural surroundings. And they're so accepting, you know, when I was telling them about the word tolerance, that's what tolerance really is. It's just accepting those people for who they are. They don't have to be like you, and, and, but uh, you accept them anyway. As long as you're not hurting someone else with what you're doing and saying and being, then that's, that's okay to be different.